Devil Twin X. Uh, the summer's wrapping up. I haven't put out very many. Actually, I haven't put out any videos in a few months, but I have one today. It's going to be a short and sweet one, but it pertains to blacksmithing. Uh, I have been doing some updating to the tiny soundproof blacksmith shop. Uh, that'll be out in a, in a later video, but I wanted to do something with my hammer. This is the hammer that I made when I took Alec Steele's Evolution of Two making class. I, I love it. I've been using it. But because it's been sitting in the, in the blacksmith shop, which is unheated and doesn't have air conditioning, it's, uh, it's starting to rust and I never really took care of the handle. Uh, it's just very plain and it's getting dirty. So what I would like to do, blacken the handle and put some linseed oil on it. I really like that look. I've seen other blacksmiths do this. I got myself a torch, never used it before, so it'll be my first time using that as well. I never owned one before, I never operated one before. I'm sure it's fairly easy and straightforward, but I've seen uh, other people use one of these to darken or blacken the handle, and I really like that look, so I'm going to try this out for the first time, and hopefully I, uh, I don't uh, set my hammer on fire. And, and that's like a real possibility. Let's get it going. There you have it. I'm pretty happy the way this came out. It looks a little darker on camera than in person. It's actually still warm. But yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, this was pretty easy. So I look forward to using this pretty soon. Like I said in the beginning of the video, 
Uh, I've been doing some tweaking to the blacksmith shop to make it a little bit more efficient, a little bit easier to work in. If you're a beginner blacksmith uh, and you want to see how another beginner blacksmith does it, uh, check out what my other videos. Uh, I'm a complete noob to blacksmithing and any other type of metalworking such as welding. I do a little casting. I'm, trying to fix up an old atlas lathe. So if you're interested in all that, check out, I have some uh, playlists. But other than that, thanks for watching guys. I always say it, if, uh, if I can do it, you can do it. And stop playing around with plastic. Start messing around with metal. Catch you guys soon. Glad I didn't need to use this. <laughs>